All right, here with the Dundalk head coach, Vinnie Perth. Vinnie, good to be back. Yeah, it's great to be back. All the, the lads came in this morning. Obviously, I've been around the club for the last sort of four or five weeks. Um, pretty intense, but it's great to have the players back and actually be back concentrating on, on the football side of, of the business. So it's uh, it's brilliant, and the lads have, have all come back in really high spirits. Excellent. Um, I'm back in a new look YDC, the new gym here. A few changes made here behind the scenes. How's that? Yeah, I think the the change is a real boost to everybody involved with the with the football side of the club, and um, the new changing rooms, um, the building work that's going on. We can see real progress, and and to be fair to to the um, to the board and, and and the owners, they've really backed um, the development of you know a high performance centre. Um, there's been a, you know huge changes. Uh, I've been heavily involved with them for the last six seven months as part of the design and. It's great to see them sort of uh, take fruition. You know, the gym has has been here for a while, but it's now really, really feels part of our gym. Um, we have our, our our wall of fame behind us, and um, it's a target for the, the lads this year already to be, you know, adding to that um, and be and, and the new players aspiring to being on the wall of fame. So, it is definitely um, it's definitely improvement. Um, it is it, a real top class facility here. Um, and I can only thank everybody from the board and uh, owners for their continued support and, and um, they've really really getting close to having a top class facility finished. Brilliant. Um, great facilities off the pitch. We've got a new setup off the pitch for yourself and your new role as head coach. Can you talk us a bit about the new setup and and the you know Rory and John he'll be working with. Yeah, I think um, we, we've obviously promoted within um, in a lot of the roles, so we. You know, the board would have spoke to me about continuity, um, and you know, a lot of the stuff isn't broken in the club, um, so that's not let's not change it. I would have been heavily involved in that, so I've been here for the last six years. I would have designed a lot of the pre-season plans over the last couple of years. Uh, would have been heavily involved in recruitment. So, in the last two years, Rory has been a big part of that. Uh, he's been um, someone who we really, really, really trusted. Um, He's got much stronger in that role over the last year in particular. Um, he is part of a management staff that have won the double last year. Um, so, But I suppose the big, big change is, is John coming in. and uh, John adding his managerial experience um, is something that you know we felt we needed. Um, he, definitely add, he definitely adds to the average age of, of the management team. Um, but he, like I, I know John a long time. He has a huge amount of League of Ireland experience. Um, already seen him interacting with the players this morning. It, it's very good. A lot of the players have known him and worked with him. Um, he's a very, very strong character in the League of Ireland. Um, I think he, he's achieved with Pats in particular in Europe. I think he's he, he's worked like a lot of the stuff I've thrown at him over the last couple of days between our stat sports and our uh, training programs. He's you know our our Insta scout or Y scout any of that stuff. He's already up to speed with. So he's a modern day coach now. He's um, he's someone who's embraced that that change, and I think he fits perfectly in into the management team we have. Um, and he'll give us a, a different, slightly different voice, and, and we can't stand still. Uh, people are coming to, to catch us every day, so um, I think he'll have enough about him to help us uh, get to the next stage. Excellent. Um, on the pitch, obviously, the close season, one of the great challenges over the years in your time here has been to, you know, we've occasionally lost one or two of our best players over to over the water, for example, but with the length of contracts in place now and the the structure of the squad, one or two new signings over the over the winter. How pleased are you with the shape the squad's in moving into the new season? Yeah, listen, it's been a hectic couple of weeks off the pitch. There's a lot of nonsense spoken about different scenarios and um, loads of statements. But listen, I, I mean, on the pitch, we're in a really good position. Um, the squad is is almost complete, and there's still definitely areas of improvement for a couple, uh, we've obviously left let Dylan go but we've brought in uh, Dan Kelly and um, so we feel we're in a really really strong position in our squad but we we do believe that there's there's improvements to be made to it and um, again the board have 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 said to us go and go and find those targets and we'll make it happen for you so we're in the process of doing that between um, all of the staff um, so we're in a really good position 
the the confidence of taking over this role for all of the management team was how good the squad was puts us, makes the job a lot easier. So, um, but at the same time, even in the last month, people like Dan Massey and Robbie Benson have re-signed for the club amongst all of that sort of so-called um, un uncertainty. Um, so we're in a good position. Um, the club uh, sort of from on, on the pitch is really good, and I don't see any major cause for concern other than we're looking for a couple of gems to really improve the quality in, in the side. Excellent. Um, and I know pre-season plans have been in place for a number of months now and uh, first day back, proper pre-season training today, how excited are you looking ahead to the start of the season? Yeah, look, when you see the players, they come in, you know they've all done a little bit of work before they've got to this stage. We've had them in for two separate days to, to double check on them, so they're in really, really good uh, physical condition, but that, that's that's a given with the group we have. Um, there is some challenges in, in pre-season and managing people's workloads and a couple of people with the hectic schedule we had last year have a couple of um, injuries that they, they need monitoring over the next couple of weeks, but um, it's really exciting time. Um, it's This is what we want to do. I've had to listen to a lot of um, sort of speculation about the club over the last couple of weeks a lot of it mo, part, a vast majority of it is has been untrue but um it's all about the football it's all about what we do on the pitch and i think um on the pitch we look really strong this year again so that's really exciting and it all looks well for getting ready for the 15th of february thanks for all the best thank you